Find the internal loads at two feet and four feet away from the wall. The first thing we want to do is draw the free body diagram for the entire structure. So we'll have AY and AX and a moment at the wall in addition to our one pound load in the middle, the ten pound load at the end, and the three foot pound moment at the end. The next thing I want to do is solve for my equilibrium to figure out what those reactions are at the wall. By the sum of the forces in X, I can say that AX plus 1 equals 0, or rather AX, is negative 1 pounds. That's the same thing as saying 1 pound to the left. Sum of the forces in Y gives me AY minus 10 equals 0, or AY is 10 pounds up. And by the sum of the moments at A, I can say MA, which I defined arbitrarily to be clockwise, plus 10 times 6, 6 feet, also clockwise, minus 3, because that's counterclockwise, equals 0. That gives me M of A is minus 57 foot-pounds clockwise, or 57 foot-pounds counterclockwise. So these are my reactions at the wall. Now, I want to draw three body diagrams of the piece of the beam where I've already cut it away. I can put my wall reactions on my diagram now. I've got one pound to the left, ten pounds up, and 57 foot-pounds counterclockwise at two feet, and then again over here I will have the three feet, and then now I'm going to actually have the one pound load right there, one foot from the end of my four foot beam. I will still have one pound to the left, ten pounds up, and fifty-seven foot pounds counterclockwise. In each of these cases I want to put on my internal loads with the correct sign conventions. So since I'm going in both of my cases, from the left-hand end, where I've got my origin at the left-hand end. I have V going down, N going to the right, and M going counterclockwise. Step four is to sum the forces and moments for each of my pieces. So if I take the sum of the forces in X, I have minus one plus N equals zero. Sum of the forces in Y gives me 10 pounds up, minus V equals zero, and the sum of the moments, which I'm going to take at the break, just for convenience sake, gives me 10 pounds at two feet, clockwise, 57 foot-pounds, don't forget about the one at the wall, counterclockwise, and M, which is also going clock counterclockwise. M is therefore equal to minus 37 foot-pounds. V is 10 pounds, and N is one pound at x equals two feet. At x equals four feet, I get different answers. The sum of the forces now has negative one plus one plus n equals zero. So n is going to be equal to zero. By the sum of the forces in y, I have ten pounds up and v down. So v is still equal to ten pounds. If I take the sum of the moments at the break, I have now ten times four feet minus fifty-seven minus m equals zero. The one pound load doesn't create a moment at the break, so now I have M is minus 17 foot-pounds at X equals four. So I'll get different answers depending on which value for X I have. 